hey what is up everyone i hope all of you are doing great and in today's question we have a homogeneous sphere of radius r capital r rotating about its vertical diameter is gently released on a hole of radius r1 okay made in a fixed horizontal slab so this slab is not moving center of the hole is vertically below the center of the sphere okay uh, the sphere stops in a time interval of del t1 that is 9 second okay now this whole rotating sphere when placed gently over this fixed uh, slab having a hole of radius r it uh, stops after an interval of del t1 that means of course there is some frictional force that is acting on this and due to that frictional force there is a uh, frictional torque which is generally decreasing the angular velocity to 0. So, initially when the radius was 8 centimeter time uh, taken by the sphere was 9 second. We need to find out the time interval required to stop the same sphere if the hole was of radius 6 centimeter. Okay. Fine. So, I have already drawn two diagrams here. Now, in the first case, this is the first situation that was given in the question the rotating sphere the sphere was initially rotating with some angular velocity okay now when the sphere was gently placed on the hole instantaneously at the same instant i mean the normal starts acting on the sphere but this normal was acting in the form of a cone okay so the total normal that means the cos component of the normal is balanced by the weight okay in the vertical direction so net force due to the whole normal applied by this surface on the sphere will be balanced by the gravitational force so we have 5 by 3 mg okay so this is the radius of the sphere this is the radius of the hole so then this will be 6 so this angle would be 37 so this will be 53 okay so in the first case the normal is acting this much so we can find out that the frictional force will be directly proportional to the normal and it will be directly proportional to 5 by 3 mg hence the torque in the first case will be directly proportional to f times r1 so that would be 5 by 3 mg times what is the radius at what radius the torque will be applied that is 8 centimeter so we'll just multiply it with 8 so it becomes 40 by 3 mg fine so initial angular momentum will be totally stopped due to this torque in time of 9 second okay so we know that change in momentum equals to the angular impulse okay so this whole thing will be directly proportional to this so i omega is directly proportional to 120 mg okay so this will be our first working equation now let us check the second situation here the situation remains the same but the radius of the hole becomes 6 centimeter this is 8 so this one will be sorry this is 10 this one will be 8 this angle is 53 so this will be 37 fine so n cos 37 actually n2 cos 37 here it is n1 wait a minute 37 equals mg n2 will be uh, 4 by 5 5 by 4 mg okay now here the frictional force will be directly proportional to n2 that is directly proportional to 5 by 4 mg so the torque in the second case will be directly proportional to f times r1 so that is 5 by 4 mg what is r1 here it is 6 centimeter okay so that would be directly proportional to uh, 2 3 15 by 2 mg fine so here the final angular momentum will become zero 
initial was this one. So, the change in angular momentum will be directly proportional to the torque times the interval fine. So, this is our second equation we will just equate these two values. So, 120 m g equals to 15 by 2 m g del t 2 m g gets cancelled out del t 2 is equal to 240 divided by 15. So, 5 3 5 4 20 8 16 second fine. So, this much amount of time will be taken by the solid sphere or hollow sphere does not matter to stop okay, when the radius of the hole is 6 centimeter. So, I hope you all have found this video helpful and informative. If you are new to this channel, please do subscribe and please share it with your friends and thanks for all the love and support. God bless you. Peace.